Welcome to the sixth episode of the Addison County Country Minute. I'm your host, Well Den Opinionator. And as always, a continued celebration of Don Heron. This program today is dedicated to dairy farmers, not only here in the Green Mountain State in New England, but all across these United States of America. Up at dawn, work until the job is done. The most undervalued, underappreciated, underpaid and overworked, hardworking fellers and lady yell lullers, can't say enough about them. A work ethic heads and tails above the rest. So head on into your general store and buy some milk, maybe some chocolate, whatever tickles your fancy. Support your local farmers. Can I finish? Can I finish? <sighs> Ain't nothing like it. Well, after a good night of hitting the hay, I woke up this morning fresh and ready to hit the day. Lifted the window to let in some of that fresh air and whoo! Good Lord! That time of year can almost set your calendar to it. You fellers and lady LLers know what I'm speaking to. You guesses it. Farm fresh Holstein butt to your nose, aka Old the Holstein. <laughs> oh my God! On your mark. Get set, let the spreading begin! Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> Enough to knock the cud right out your mouth. <sighs> Thank you, COVID, for not taking away my whiffing senses. <sighs> but if you call in the next 30 seconds, we'll rest you your very own bottle of Oda Holstein. Act now as the pit's running dry. Farm hands are standing by to take your order. What's that? My producer has just informed me that if you call right now, while supplies last, we'll ship a travel size for a separate processing fee. Somebody's gonna smell fabulous for stank on the go. <laughs> Presenting a railroad in a lawsuit filed by an old farmer here in Addison County. The farmer's top milker was missing from the area where the train passes through. The farmer only wanted to be paid the fair value of the cow. The case was scheduled to try before the judge. The lawyer for the railroad immediately cornered the farmer and tried to get him to settle out of court. The lawyer did his best. Finally, the farmer agreed to take half of what he was asking for. After the farmer had signed the release and took the check, the young lawyer couldn't resist gloating a little over his success. Telling the farmer, you know, I hate to tell you this, but I pulled one over on you in there. I couldn't have won the case. The engineer, when the train went through your farm, that morning was asleep. I didn't have one witness to put on the stand. I bluffed you. The old farmer replied, well, I tell you what, young whippersnapper, I was a little worried about winning the case myself because that darn cow came home this morning. <laughs> oh, you got a lot of farmers. Oh. Anyway, tune in next week for another fast-paced, sighting, and informative episode. And remember, intelligence is like underpants. It's important that you have it, but not necessary to show it off.